Hi, this is Pedia Bergzerk Arcade at bergzerkarcade.com, and uh, I'm not really sure what tutorial number this is. 220 something. <laughs> uh, I think it's 228. But anyway, uh, while the vote is up for uh, the next couple weeks to see what we'll be working on, I want to go ahead and start adding more items to my game, at least to the loot system. And I've gone ahead and increased the, the weapons that will be dropped now. And I believe I have them all. If we just go ahead and open up the script. Well, let's just start the game. And we open up the chests. I believe there's 12 items total now that can spawn. So we have a variety of different weapons. Uh, well, at least the melee weapons. I'm going to go ahead and actually start spawning some armor. Uh, there's a few things I wanted to point out and change before we start doing that, though. Uh, right here is how we're doing our weapons. And we're just going in and saying, you know, what the name of the the prefabs are. So, for instance, for sword, uh, we're going to want to have the mesh for a sword and make sure it's spelt the same. And we're also going to want to have the icon for it. And that'll be right down here. And as long as we have those two things and they're named the exact same, everything should be fine. Uh, the thing I wanted to change here is I have a bad habit of when I want to say add another weapon down here. I'll just come up here, you know, I'll cut and paste, I'll put it in. Hopefully I remember to actually change the index. And then I'll just come over here and, you know, it'll just be another weapon. And then I'll go off and try to run it and I end up getting an error. And it's because I forgot to change the index up here as well. Uh, there's actually an easier way to do it. Well, maybe not necessarily easier, but uh, less airproof or air prone. And I'm going to show you that right now. Now, we have done it before. And to be honest, we can just cut and paste this one line. And I'm going to comment out the old way just so you can still see the old way. And I believe it's in game settings we might have done it in. And basically the benefit of doing it this way is we don't have to keep screwing around with the index. And I've actually sprayed my wrist over the weekend. So my typing might not be as nice as it usually is. So I'm going to be doing a lot of cut and pasting. It's not a bad sprain. It's just enough to uh, make me not be able to reach just a few keys. So I'm just going to come in. I'm going to keep the exact same list. Uh, we'll just get rid of the weapon names and then the index of where it's stored at. Now it might have actually just been faster to type all these back out, but this is probably a little bit easier for me right now. And we'll just keep going through and delete them all. And this way here later on, if I want to come in and do add more weapons, like I said, I don't have to worry about increasing that index. And the last one does not get a comma, but every other one will get a comma. And there we go. I usually tab mine in too. I just like it to be lined up uh, where the area actually starts. You don't have to. I'd probably do just at least one tab so you know it, uh, why you have this list of names there. Now, out of my melee weapons, I do actually have two that are uh, two-handed weapons uh, for now I'm just going to keep all melee weapons the same and later on I'll uh, kind of differentiate between uh, a two-handed weapon and a one-handed and I'm just going to come through and comment all these out now you can use either system that you want for me personally I like this way better I just come in put a comma add my new item Looks like I'll have to, whoops, tab it in. But anyway, I have my new item, and away I go. Well, I'm just missing every key today. And I think that's it. It should 
compile with no errors. Make sure I did save it. And of course, when I start it up, I'm gonna have to turn off some of these effects as they're a little distracting. Uh, as you can see, I've got you know more weapons here. And provided you got your actual weapon mesh set up properly, everything should work uh, right out of the box just fine. So I'm gonna come in, grab a bunch of these different weapons. I'm gonna run somewhere where there aren't a lot of particle effects going off. Uh, we'll be disabling those soon. And go ahead and just, you know, just equip them just to make sure that they actually do line up right. There's my scimitar. Uh, so we have a hammer here. Ah, uh, yes, there's one other fix. If you notice, if we go to the character panel, we'll move the inventory over. And you try to unequip your hammer, which is what we currently have equipped. You get another one that shows up in your pack, but it's still showing up as equipped. If you just keep clicking it, you'll notice you just end up filling up your pack. Uh, so we're going to want to fix that too here. So let's go ahead and, and we're going to have to open up the PC script. Uh, we'll just come up here, just type in PC. I want to hear go clear this. All right, I'm going to head back into Mono Develop. And I'm just going to shrink up the stuff I don't need here. Uh, what we want to come to is the equip weapon. And right here where we have it checking to see if the value that we're being passed in is equal to null and then we're going to return. Uh, we're going to get rid of that. Uh, we're going to automatically set the equipped weapon to equal whatever value is that we're being passed in. And then we're going to go through and take a look to see if uh, we have anything equipped and if so, uh, we'll destroy it and then right here where we go to instantiate the new one and then of course set its parent and everything else this is where we're going to put our other if statement so if and then you can check either one of these values uh since this is the one i'm using in here it's the one i'm going to use uh, the other one i guess is less typing but anyway if equip weapon uh, does not equal null then i'm going to instantiate the weapon uh, that we're supposed to make and set it to where it's supposed to be in the player's hand. So let's go ahead, make sure that's saved. We'll head back in the game. Uh, we'll start this back up. We'll just open up one of the chests and we'll just grab everything out of it. And I'm just going to run off to the side here. And we'll equip any item. Here's one of the new ones, an axe. We anyway, so it's equipping the axe. Now, when I go to unequip the axe, we notice it pops up there and it's no longer in his hand. And we can re equip the axe and unequip the axe again. And if we just take a look, it has a value of 66, 58, uh, 2.5 to, to 6. I just want to make sure it's exact copy or the exact same item. And it appears to be. All right, that's it for that fix. And those are the two things I had written down that I wanted to go over today. Uh, the next few tutorials, we'll be going over how to uh, start creating some armor and have that spot in our chest for us. Anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget, if uh, you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, or even if you don't like it, give it a thumbs down and uh, add it to your favorites if it's one of your favorites. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.